Do you have high uric acid? In this video, I'll share the five worst foods to avoid and the five best that don't raise uric acid. Actually, five food groups. Over 10% of people have hyperuricemia, which means high blood uric acid levels. What counts as high levels? For men, it's above 7 mg per deciliter, and for women, above 6 mg per deciliter. This may vary between labs, but I'm giving you an average here. So what's the problem with high uric acid? These crystals can build up in joints, causing gout in elbows, knees, and feet, especially the big toe. Uric acid is also linked to other diseases and increased heart disease risk. It's also a sign of blood vessel dysfunction. If you have high uric acid in your blood, you're at greater risk of a heart attack, for example. So it's crucial to pay close attention to your uric acid levels. How does the body eliminate uric acid? Primarily through the kidneys via renal excretion and also through the intestines. About 66 to 70% is eliminated by the kidneys and 30% by the intestines. You might be thinking, so people with kidney failure or weak kidneys will have high uric acid because their kidneys can't eliminate it properly? Exactly, that's one of the main causes. There are also metabolic and genetic factors involved in increasing uric acid levels. And a poor diet can contribute as well, especially if you consume a lot of the foods I'll mention here which can predispose you to what we call hyperuricemia and increase the risk of gout, along with other consequences I mentioned. So, what are the best and worst foods? I'll start with the list of the best foods, explaining the scientific evidence behind them and debunking some myths, addressing some misconceptions along the way. Our number one is red fruits, like strawberries and cherries, which contain anthocyanin, that can help reduce uric acid levels, so it's important to include them in your diet. There are even studies on cherry juice, showing it can help prevent and manage gout flare-ups. Number two is nuts, like walnuts, almonds, and peanuts, rich in magnesium and zinc. Studies show diets high in zinc and magnesium can lower uric acid levels, which is fascinating. And for number three, but first, please like this video. Let's aim for 5,000 likes. This way, the system distributes this content more widely. You've seen that over 10% of people have high blood uric acid levels, so it's crucial you like this video to help it reach more viewers. If you're finding this video valuable so far, then help me out, and you'll be helping others too. Let's aim for 5,000 likes. Let's go. And number three, coffee. Coffee's exact mechanism for reducing uric acid isn't fully understood. Some studies hypothesize it may increase excretion, helping kidneys eliminate more uric acid, but other substances like chlorogenic acid, plus polyphenols and antioxidants, which coffee is rich in, may contribute to this uric acid reduction. What's the recommended coffee dose? Three cups, 200 milliliters each of brewed coffee or up to three espresso shots daily. The doses are roughly equivalent. Number two, milk and dairy. For those without lactose intolerance, it's a good option as dairy doesn't raise uric acid. Low fat yogurt, skim milk and white cheeses are good choices if you're watching uric acid levels. Number five, citrus fruits rich in vitamin C. Examples include acerola, lemon and kiwi. Pineapple is also crucial here as it's rich in bromelain which can help reduce uric acid. I know many will ask, isn't fructose harmful? Doesn't it damage the liver? No, this type of fructose isn't bad for your liver. It's excessive fructose that's harmful. Eating whole fruit won't cause harm. So you can and should eat fruits. Don't worry about it. Many online videos discuss this, but only excess fructose is harmful. I'll add two bonus tips, not in the main groups. I've covered the five. But studies show water intake matters too. Those drinking over 8 cups, 200 milliliters each, daily spread throughout the day, had lower uric acid levels. Another point I'll mention is about apple cider vinegar. There's no scientific proof it actually works. Some studies suggest a benefit, but it's not a consensus. There's a lot of research on malic acid in apple cider vinegar. So that's just a side note. Which foods are worst for high uric acid levels? Well, there are five main groups. The first group I'll mention is alcoholic drinks. Beer was long seen as the villain, 
but other alcohols raise it too. The old advice was to cut out beer. People would switch to other drinks, but it didn't help. Later, they found those also increase uric acid. So it's not just beer, it's alcoholic beverages in general. Be very careful with this. Number two, this might surprise many people. Salmon, tuna, trout, cod, and seafood like oysters, lobster, and shrimp. But doc, isn't salmon healthy? Yes, but I'm talking specifically about uric acid. If you don't have high uric acid, it's fine. Salmon's healthy with omega-3s and other benefits. But if you're watching uric acid, avoid these fish and seafood. Number three, another seemingly healthy food. Liver, heart, and other organ meats greatly increase uric acid. Studies suggest they're the main contributors to uric acid increase. Same goes for salmon. Liver's rich in iron and nutrients but avoid it if managing uric acid, okay? Liver significantly raises uric acid levels. Number four, processed and regular meats. It's not just processed meats, but others too, okay? Turkey, beef, and cured meats like salami and copa boost uric acid. Avoid these, all right? Along with organ meats and alcohol, they're major contributors to the increase. Even if you take meds for high uric acid, it won't help if you keep eating these foods. Got it? So avoid salami, kappa, and other processed and regular meats. Red meat significantly increases uric acid levels, and processed meats contain nitrates and nitrites, which are linked to higher risks of colon and stomach cancer. Number five, sweetened drinks and sodas. Box juices contain corn or fructose syrup. Remember what I said about fruits? In box juice and soda, this fructose syrup is harmful and raises uric acid. Foods high in refined sugar also contribute to increased uric acid levels. Avoiding these items and including those I mentioned will improve your treatment success. If you enjoyed this video, please help us reach our goal of 5,000 likes. Subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated on new posts. Next, I suggest a video about cramps, another common condition. In it, I discuss the main causes and warning signs. Would you recognize them? Watch it here and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.